Well, Mr. Flannery, it seems you've bitten off more than you can chew. What's going on, everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I am fishing with my good friend, Taylor Flannery, and the reason I said he may have bitten off more than he can chew, the name of his guide service is Muskie Guarantee Guide Service. If you've been watching it all, I have not caught a muskie for two and a half months now. So we are putting, this is the rock in the hard place, the immovable force against the whatever object. This is going to be tough because this man is going to try to get me a muskie. Uh, we are up here in northern Wisconsin. Uh, we've got beautiful conditions. This is the day of the full moon. The only thing we have going against us is it got cool, which we all know in the fall is good. It pushes the fish shallow. It has gotten warm. It is what it was yesterday. It was in the mid 80s. Today's the same thing. Yep. So uh, we are up against it, folks. But we are going to do our best. We are going to see if the man can guarantee me a muskie, and we're going to do it right now. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to be throwing an eight-inch Kodiak Naven. This is one of my favorite ones up in the Northwoods. You can tell by the amount of wood showing. Uh, I've got it on a Surgical Strike 9 foot 2020 uh, Chaos Tackle Assault Stick with 400 tranks. And that's 100 pound fins, big game excess. Really good line. I like that. That is the setup I'm throwing. Taylor's in the back pitching an 8 inch Poseidon. So we are going to see if a couple of 8 inch Chaos Tackle baits can get something done for us out here today. Oh, there's one right here too. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You little prick. He actually looked like he wanted to come and do he it. He made a little bit of a move. I hate my <laughs> I thought he was going to come up on that I, outside and Yeah, it. dude, he swung around hard. Just kidding. There's nothing there, nothing to see. <laughs> And it was literally the one time I saw him take his eyes off the bait. There was a pontoon going behind us. He turns around. <laughs> never fails. Oh, yeah. This guy's no way he's going to catch me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's been watching diligently for the past 10 hours, and this is the one time. Right. Time to strike. Yep, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he did not like that. He's still... Yeah. Yep, I would say so. Oh, he's is he hanging out down there. I can't tell. Of course, I'm right in my own shadow. Oh, he came up with a little bit of gusto anyway. Yeah, he was a nice fish. All right. That's a little more better, as my English professor used to say. Perfect. <laughs> A little midday update. Uh, we have seen some fish. We have contacted up to this point, I think six or seven fish on uh, Medusa, uh, getting most of them to come up for us. One on a little eight inch Poseidon. Uh, I've seen a nice one on an eight inch Naven. So we've got fish moving. They seem to want kind of the stop start things because even the Poseidon, uh, Taylor's working that with kind of a popping action, stop start motion. So. Uh, that's what we've got going, but we still have the high skies. We've uh, a little bit of breeze that's helping, and hopefully uh, we're past our midday major for the full moon and going into that minor this evening. So uh, hopefully with a little bit of breeze, some lower light this evening. And who knows? Maybe before that we'll get lucky and uh, sucker one of these things into biting. But uh, until then, we're just going to keep casting and see what happens. <laughs> Fish. Nice. Yep. Not a huge guy. Alright. It's better than I thought. There we go. You did it. Good job. You broke my streak, buddy. Yay! You're not a black cloud anymore. <laughs> I 
I literally pulled back and I was like, wait a minute. That feels like a fish. That feels like a fish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've probably broke one of the longest no musky streaks I've ever had. Uh, so uh, this is not a large fish, but I'm so happy to have it in the net. Uh, we caught it on a Hunzi tail. It's a really cool bucktail. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But I am going to, fish is unhooked, hanging out in the net. Uh, I am going to really quickly get it out. We've got our bump board already wetted down. I'm gonna register this fish with Muskie's Inc. So we just want a nice quick measurement. Up quick, on the board, back in the water, take care of the fish the best we can. And let's see, I gotta grab it with this hand here. Come here, buddy. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is not happy. Come here, buddy. All right. Now I got you. There we go. Beautiful Wisconsin greeny, awesome little fish. Now I'm gonna hold on real tight here so we can get him on the bump. He is 33. All right, there we go. Finally, a muskie in the boat. Muskie Guarantee Guide Service comes through. <laughs> All right, get him in the water here. buddy beautiful little fish feisty little guy feeling tensing up and I'm just gonna let him go there he goes awesome well so we got that fish we just got into an area of the lake where it's a nice big hillside we've got some shaded water here uh, I don't know if that's exactly what did it but who knows we just started so we're gonna keep fishing through here we Raised a fish a little bit further down the way, a nicer one on the Navin earlier. So I think we've got some good stuff coming up here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've never been so happy to catch a 33 inch muskie in my life. Uh, that breaks a big long streak that I've had, uh, not a good one. So uh, really happy for that fish. Uh, this is the bait I got it on. This is uh, called a Hunsey tail. Uh, it's got this cool little dangly blade on the back. Kyle Hunsader uh, up in the Green Bay area makes these. They're at uh, J&T's Tackle in uh, Rhinelander, right? Um, I believe Team Rhino Outdoors has them too, so uh, check out the Hunzi tail, really cool bait. We did measure that fish real quick because I am working with Musky Zinc and I want to let everybody know that, you know, the safest way if you want to measure a fish is to get that bump board wetted down, which we did. Make sure you have a really good grip on that fish and you know, do the best you can to take care of it. I think it's important to have some of the data that we can collect uh, by entering these fish accurately into the lunge log. There's been a lot of talk lately about stocking in Northern Wisconsin. We might need some of this data in the coming years from lakes in Northern Wisconsin uh, to persuade some of these people to give more money to stocking. I don't know, couldn't hurt. So uh, there's that. We're gonna get back to fishing. Taylor's rocking a top water right now. I'm gonna get back to throwing that Hunzi tail and we're gonna see if we can get another muskie here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still on it? No, he kind of turned off. Okay. Well, that's cool to see that wake. See how big he was? Looks like about 35. Okay. Yeah, he did. Okay. Sure. And that kingfisher or whatever the heck 
Yeah, yep. Oop, there's a little. Do it again. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it might be. What do we got? No, it's a, him's just a little guy. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> no wonder he came back so many times. All right, dummy. <laughs> well, here, while I'm dealing with this, you go catch the, the muskie. <laughs> I know. I know. How about you don't do anything stupid like put a hook in my hand as I grab the bait? All right. Yeah, it's not a bad pike, really. All right. Thanks for the thrill, buddy, but uh, wrong flavor. Go away. All right, ladies and gents, uh, the power hour got us a power pike. Um, <laughs> that's the best we could do. I don't think we saw a fish after we got the one. No, we didn't. It shut right off. Uh, it was a, a beautiful night. Uh, we were both pretty jacked to throw top waters. Uh, so it was, it was, I mean, it was still fun to get that, that pike. It kind of hit three times, but uh, wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but still had an amazing time. Mr. Taylor Flannery, Musky Guarantee Guide Service uh, came through for me. I broke the streak. Hopefully I didn't <laughs> jinx his boat. <laughs> My little black cloud made it happen. <laughs> but I will put all of his particulars in the description down below if you'd like to hire him uh, up here in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. Uh, with that, I have a long drive home to Southern Wisconsin, so we're gonna get off the water. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess. I'll see you on the next video.